They do if you put your hand in there. Yeah, but you're not gonna buy him. Well, it's big. I can't even read what it says. It's seven dollars. Any takers for seven bucks? Stop. So I'm pretty sure these are all like um, gachapon figures, and gachapon is like the things that are you, machines that you put quarters in and you spin and you get like a random little toy. And I'm pretty sure these are all from that. I am looking for like this particular one. Come and see these art that I like to collect, but I don't see any here, unfortunately. I did see this pretty cool. Where'd he go? Right here. It's a the Sharzaku coin little bank, so that's pretty neat. I might get this. It's only three dollars, so why not? More crap to see at my house. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to find something that I would like, but. I don't see anything that calls my attention. I mean, there's so much to look through, so this is definitely gonna take me a hot minute to look through every single one. Yeah, so I found this. Melissa's gonna flip. Where is she? Melissa? What's up? Come here. Look what I found. Oh, shoot. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, certain somebody just found um, these cup noodles for $6. And you're going to eat them. No, I'm not going to eat them. I'm going to keep them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but eat them. Um, pretty good score. It's my bin of crap that I shouldn't be buying, but I'm buying anyways. Because, <laughs> um, you know, you're never too old to collect Pokemon crap. Yes, you are. So. All right. She's gonna go crazy again. Yo, yo, how much? How much is it here? <laughs> I don't know. Go look. You see the price on the front. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No. You got me excited for no reason. I was looking at this mug at the Gundam um, Cafe over there. It's twenty eight hundred. Here they want fifty nine hundred. So almost double the price. I was expecting it to be ten dollars. All right, so here you can see that you can buy already assembled kits. So I, I don't know, I guess people, maybe they have too much and they bring, you can bring them to these second stores and sell them. So you can pretty much get my good prices. Like, let's see how much this turns the X Gundam is. This one is $9.80, so not bad for an already assembled massive rate. Let's take a look at what else they got here. Anything that catches my eye, SD kits. Master grade wing. This is actually kind of expensive because this one they want $17 and you could buy it brand new for $30. So that one's a miss. The Kyaku Shiki, that's $15. So it's for me. But yeah, it's pretty cool that you have the option of buying already assembled kits if you don't feel like building them. I want. So my friend just found this for me. No. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to what what I'm supposed to be doing with this thing. Oh, and it's missing its saber, the beam sabers. Hmm. 
But it's a really old school kind of vinyl toy. They want $26 for it. I'm, mm -hmm. My suitcase is full. I have to really process how I'm going to fit this giant uh, Pokemon plushie, this guy. Mm -hmm. What am I doing with my life right now? I don't know. Oh my, they have more cup noodles. Yep. All right, I'm gonna start recording. I just found this um, Char Zaku hanger. Pretty interesting. Yeah, you wanna buy it? What am I gonna do? What, are I, what am I gonna do with? Do it your pharmacy code so you don't lose them anymore. That's a good idea. Maybe I Get this outfit. This is very the second um, thrift store like I said I love the Japanese thrift stores you can find so many rare items in there which is where I like to go to them and this one is called 
Yorozuya. So this is a, a second one. It's a big. They have a couple of these stores up here in Aomori. So we're going to the second one, which I've been to before. So I'm hoping to find some um, pretty rare Gundam related items. So I'll show you guys what the store. Here is the outside of the store. That's a really retro um, antique sign right there. And that's what the outside looks like. If you guys ever want to come here, this is what the store looks like. Morning. I'm excited to go see what I find at the store. Last time I was here last year, I saw this big shard helmet. I'm hoping that they have it this time around because I didn't buy it last time and I really regret it. So I'm crossing my fingers that it's going to be here. So guys, let me show you something real quick. This is what I'm telling you that these are the stores that you guys gotta go to if you want P-Banda in Japan because look at all the P-Banda case. I mean, it's just boxes and boxes of P-Banda. So this is where I tend to score my P-Banda items when I come to Japan because you can't buy it at Gundam Front or big chains like Yorobashi, Big Camera. They unfortunately don't sell P-Banda items. So by coming to these thrift stores like Manda Rocket, this one here, Hobby Off, you're able to find a crap ton of P-Banda. Now, sometimes it can be a little expensive. Like, let's see how much Heavy Arms is. He's So this comes out to be like maybe like a hundred and... Uh, a hundred and... My hundred and ten dollars. I don't know, depending on what the conversion is. So this was actually kind of expensive. I honestly wouldn't spend this amount on him. I would maybe pay eighty dollars tops for it. So sometimes you just gotta like hunt around for the best deal. Let's see, Death Sign or um, Sand Rock. 86, so this is not bad. This is about $85. Kind of expensive, but you know, like I said, $100 for this one. You know, tons of P Bandai items here. Like I said, this is where I tend. Oh, what's this one? Oh, God, $35. I'm gonna buy this. Yes, <laughs> it's a really cool one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna Google it, but I think this is the hanger that has the um, uh, Gundam. Um, tray looking item in it so I'm pretty sure this is it it's $35 so it's kind of expensive but you know I think I'm gonna buy it and take a look at some of these kits here we got some some voids you got some perfect grades built down here this is 50 bucks um it's expensive for me I mean I never bought a pre-built kit already if it was five bucks I would grab it but that's a little too much for me here is perfect grade strike $60 you know but this is good if you're like oh look, I got some parts too so this is pretty good if you're missing parts you got tons of weapons on here shields lots of different high grades so pretty awesome place to come shopping oh more perfect grades what's this one? Oh, it's must be a painted one or I don't know that color scheme Yeah, I'm about to spend a little too much money than what I need to, but um, you know, you only love once, right? I really love myself. Alright, we're good? Yeah. Good. Oh, nice. I just found this right here. These are the, um, the Zaku, I think the X XL or I don't know the name, but they're gachapons that you can get here, and I don't have the blue one, so I'm going to be picking him up. He's only $6, which is pretty fair because it costs. Um, five dollars to pay to to pay to play, and you don't know what you're gonna get. So for a dollar more, you get to pick your color. I'll be taking him. What are these? I don't know what those are. So I'll get more Gundam Gachapons. Let's see, any other? Uh, do I have this? Is tri TriStar? I don't think I have this one, so I'm gonna take it too. Oh shoot, I don't know if I have a green one. I might have to watch. I might have to like look at some pictures on my Instagram because I don't remember if I have a green one or not. Oh, uh, right. no Gundam heads, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. And I just found this. I believe this is an apron. And I'm pretty excited because last time I went to the Gundam base, I didn't have any of these, so I'm definitely going to be grabbing this. 
There's some cute pillows here. I don't know if I can fit this in my bag, unfortunately. This one's four dollars. This one's fifteen dollars. So I think I might have to leave that. Sadly. Oh, I got some figures here. What is this one in here? Like, it looks like these are like some of the prize ones that you can win. This, this is a new. Huh. How much is this one? $25? It's kind of cool looking, so. I don't know. It looks like it's a bus. Oh, here's this guy. I'll, I'm probably going to take this one from turn A. Oh, what was his name? My memory is so bad, but it's 19 bucks, so I'll probably grab him. What other figures do they got back here? Venom C crap. Of course, I'm not buying any of that. Oh, fifty dollars? Nah, it's too much for me. This is from um uh oh, with God Gundam. I forgot. Oh my God, my memory is terrible right now. G Gundam or um, something like that. Oh, he's, he's your girl right here. He's not my girl. Oh. Okay. okay, so I think I just found the helmet that I was looking for. Except I forgot how expensive it was because this thing. Let me try to make some room here. Right here, it's dusty as hell too. It is seventy dollars, uh, and the box is huge. I honestly don't even know if I could fit this in my suitcase. It's just massive, but it is the. I'm making a mess here. It is the helmet, and I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Can you fit this on? No, there's no way you. No, this is definitely not wearable. Now, if this was wearable, I would have bought it, but. Yeah, this is just a display item. And unfortunately, I'm not, I'm not gonna pay $70 for this because I just feel like it's too expensive. And I don't, honestly, I don't see this fitting in my suitcase. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna fit? Yeah, that's why. That's why I'm thinking. Which is a bummer, it's just too big. So I'm gonna have to make a pass and just stick with the things I have so far. I'm sorry. Bye, Char. Mm -hmm. I got tons and tons of Gundam Gachapons. I'll see if I find anything I like. Oh, I'm trying to finish out this set. I can't reach. Use your strength. It's like that one right there, like little seams. Um, there we go, thank you. So they kind of look like this. Um, I have a few of these, but I'm trying to see if I'm missing any of them. So I'm looking for things like that. It's fairly inexpensive, like this is two dollars. Hey, that Haru keychain. That looks kind of cute, it's a dollar. So yeah, I'll be digging through this. Hopefully I'll find something cool.
So right now I am still in Aomori and I'm getting ready to put on the costume for the Nebuto Festival. And I have tank top shorts on because it's extremely hot outside. Basically, not as hot as Florida, but still insanely hot out here. So I'm going to put on this costume and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. <laughs> Ready to go to the festival. I'm pretty excited. Um, I mean, I did fly, what, 6,000 miles? I mean, I don't know how long. 20 something hours just so we could go to this Nebuta festival. So I'm pretty excited to be hanging out with my friends. Party, part, partying it up mm -hmm. in the streets. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So here I am. Um, we're in Almore City. It's hot as hell out right now. We're currently waiting to jump in line to start dancing and chanting for the festival. My famous okay. gunna bar that I always visit when I go to Almori. Okay. There's a sign right here. It is the G Dining Bar Sion. I will try to post the address in the description. But uh, here's this cute little sign right here with Haro on it. Read it. Um Choco Banana. Choco Banana. Um Aisu. Choco Banana Aisu. I don't know what this is. Nihon no. Honjitsu no osusume. Today's osusume special menu. Special menu? Uh, okay. Let's go upstairs. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming your butt. So what's that? YouTuber. YouTuber. Famous. Special menu. <laughs> special menu. Banana juice. No children allowed in here. Yes, no children. No children, guys. Can't touch it. No touch. I almost bought this guy, but the deal fell through. But I'm still on the market for something like this. alcohol of course and look at the awesome view that you guys can have while you drink and build normally it's busier in here but because of the Nebuka festival the bar is a little empty but if you guys ever come to Almori City you should check this place out I always do every every time I come each year action <laughs> okay so I just did this Gundam Gatrapon let's see what I got I got the DJ. So it's a little tiny kit. I have no idea what this is from. This is a Converge? Converge? No. It is... I have no idea what this is. But they're pretty cute. So I got this one right here. The DJ. I'll show you guys when I come back from Japan and I do my unboxing or on my haul video. I'll show you guys what this looks like though. <laughs> so what's cool about japan usually when the restaurants you have um, a little button and that calls over the waiter so these are pretty cool because obviously as you can see they are characters from the gundam franchise so this one's zaku you got dom over there and the other tables don't have any so i can't show you guys but these two tables oh you have regular zaku over there this one has a bell but yeah pretty cool all right so if you guys want more information about the place here's their social media stuff and let's take a closer look at the menu g dining zion menu it's all in japanese so i'm not translating it. translate nope but you can see how the menu looks pretty cool it's all characters from the gundam franchise you can get food 
I usually come here just to get drinks. <laughs> and of course, you guys, I, you know, I'm between the I'm between Rainbow Row or the Char. I usually get this one, but I think I'm gonna switch it up and get this drink today. Um, alcohol probably is not the best thing, considering we did a lot of exercise out at the festival. But I'm gonna drink because while well, I'm here, so why not? That's what the rest of the menu looks like.